10 things you didn't know about Yaya Jame's new life in Equatorial Guinea. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video explores the current whereabouts of former Gambian president Yaya Jame. Yaya Jame has kept a low profile since he ran out of Banjul in January 2017. Our research finds him holed up in a luxurious villa in another African kleptocracy. But for us to understand the location of Yaya Jame, Let's quickly establish some facts about Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is an oil-rich country located in Central Africa. Equatorial Guinea has an island called Bayoka Island which is very far from its mainland country. The capital city is called Malabo and is located in Bayoko Island which is closer to neighboring Cameroon than mainland Equatorial Guinea. But for security reasons, the government is in the process of moving the capital city to a new place called Oyala, located in mainland Equatorial Guinea. Over the years, there have been several coup attempts against the current president, Obiang. The president has accused some Western powers of being involved in trying to overthrow his government with the help of, with the help of some of the country's exiled political opponents. Since the capital city is sitting on an island and is easily accessible on all sides, it raises some security concerns for him and so he decided to start the process of building a new capital city at a place called Oyala in the heart of the country's mainland. So in the event that foreign powers want to invade the administrative capital city, it will be not easy for them. Now that that is established, here are 10 things you didn't know about Yaya Jame's new life in Equatorial Guinea. Number 1. Jame's arrival in Equatorial Guinea was not welcomed by some Equatorial Guineans. His arrival was greeted by near silence. A protest banner reportedly spread out in Malabo. It was hung outside the offices of Equatorial Guinea's much harassed opposition party called the Convergence for Social Democracy. It declared, We do not want another dictator in our country. The Guinean police forces later tore it down. The party demanded that Yaya Jame return to his country to answer for his acts and crimes committed during his reign. Equatorial Guinea cannot turn into a host country for genocidal dictators, the party expressed. Number 2. Jame is well protected in Equatorial Guinea. Obiang, Africa's longest serving president, has guaranteed the protection of his friend who is in exile in his country from any extradition. He once told the chairman of the African Union that Jame deserved protection and respect as a former African leader. Obiang said his stance of protecting former heads of state is a correct one. He and ex-Guinean president Alpha Conde are in full agreement that Yaya Jame must be protected at all costs, according to them. Jame must be respected as a former African leader because this is a guarantee for other African leaders that they will not be harassed after they leave power. Number 3. The president of this country, Teodoro Obiangwe Mambasogo, who self-styled himself as the guarantor of peace and propeller of development, has spent the past few years turning his hometown, Mongomo, into a vanity project using the country's oil wealth. Mongomo is located on the eastern side of mainland Equatorial Guinea. It is very similar to James Kanilai in the Gambia. The new capital city that is being built, Oyala, is located very close to Mongomo. Mongomo is very close to the Gabon border, roughly about one kilometer away. Number 4. The climate in Mongomo is warm, oppressive and overcast. Over the course of the year, the temperature typically varies from 19 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. This region is one hour ahead of the Gambia. Rain falls throughout the year in Mongomo, but it records significant rainfall only 70% of the time. That is 260 rainy days in a year and the number of days with no rain is 105. The month with the most rain is in Mongomo is October. The coldest month is July and the driest month is January. The place is very conducive for farming activities. The perfect home for Jame 
and his retirement plan as a farmer you might think. Watch on. Number 5 Mongomo was the host city of the 2015 African Cup of Nations. The Estadio de Mongomo, Mongomo Stadium, is a multi-sport stadium in Mongomo which was the venue for the 2015 African Cup of Nations. The city is also home of Mongomo Provincial Hospital and Five Star Mongomo Hotel. Both Equatorial Guinea's first president, Francisco Macias Guema, and the current president, Teodoro Obiang Guema Mbasogu, were born from this place. It is like the Kanilai of the Gambia, though more advanced and sophisticated than Kanilai. Obiang has su successfully transformed this place from a village to a modern town with a private airport and a new international standard, standard golf, golf course. The place has a population of about 26,000 inhabitants or from 7,000 in 2012. Number 6 Obiang moved the government headquarters from the coastal city of Malabu to Oyala, an unfinished city deep in the virgin rainforest. According to Obiang, he needs to secure a place for his government and for future governments. Once complete, Oyala, Oyala will house the president, the government and, according to master plan, up to 200,000 people. The city is surrounded by several national parks. It is the remoteness of Oyala that makes it so appealing to President Obian. Like many dictators, the president lives in fear and is upset, obsessed with security. He has survived several coup attempts in the past. Obiang's hometown, Mongomo, is one hour drive away from here. He has three palaces in Mongomo, all big, gaudy looking palaces like Saddam Hussein had. It is reported that Jame is in one of them. However, according to some sources, Jame's farm is not located here. He only lives here. Number 7 According to a human rights lawyer from Equatorial Guinea, Alicante, Jame's farm is located in the Moka Valley, a picturesque track of mountains and waterfalls which is away from mainland Equatorial Guinea. Moka Valley is a town located on the rugged volcanic ridges of the southern edges of Biko Island. It is home to the people of Bube tribe and a wildlife area called Moka Wildlife Center. The temperature of Moka Valley ranges from 16 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius. Volcanic environments can be good locations for farming as they produce extremely fertile soils, especially for vegetable production like potatoes, carrots, onions, turnips, and sweets. Whether his farm is located in Moga Valley or Mongomo, both places are great for farming activities. Our Babeli Manza, whichever way is in a far away land in Central Africa, living his canilite dream. Grow what you eat and eat what you grow. Number 8 Obiang and Jame's relationship did not start today. They previously had a cordial relationship with Obiang making a state visit to the Gambia in 2013. They have also been neighbors before owning adjacent luxurious mansions in Maryland in the USA. Both leaders have many things in common as shown in our previous video on Jame's similarities with Obiang. If you haven't seen that video, it will be shown on the end screen of this video. Watch on. Number 9 Equatorial Guinea, unlike the Gambia, is not a signatory to the status of the International Criminal Court. What does that mean? What that means is Obiang is under no obligation to comply if the Gambian president Adama Baro were to call for Jame's extradition back to the Gambia. The only thing that is likely to sway Obiang is the pressure from the regional bloc that ousted Yaya Jame, the ECOWAS, and CEAC, the Central African equivalent. And even such a push would have to focus on the bigger regional players like Nigeria and Ghana since many of Obiang's neighbors like Benin and the Central African Republic are too dependent on his oil to even start a fuss with him. Number 10 
So the main concern is what happens when the old man Obiang disappears. Highly likely his playboy son will succeed him of course. If he is in charge of the country, things might still look kindly on Yaya Jame as a long term tenant farmer. But equally a new leader might decide that handing him over would be a good way to repair the country's image and the wider world. For that reason, some analysts suggest Jame should not get too comfortable in Obiang's palace. You should not be surprised if ultimately one day you see Yaya Jame in handcuffs. Well, in conclusion, Yaya Jame's new life in Equatorial Guinea is a complex and fascinating topic that sheds light on the political dynamics and the power struggles within the African continent. As we've seen in this video, Equatorial Guinea is a country with a unique history and culture and its current president Teodoro Obiang is determined to protect and support former African leaders like Jaya Jame. If you found this video intriguing, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more thought provoking content. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family to help us reach a wider audience.